Gus Low, Wikipedia Audio Gus Low is an Arabic term referring to the full body ritual purification mandatory before the performance of various rituals and prayers for any adult Muslim after having sexual intercourse, ejaculation, or completion of the menstrual cycle. The washing is also recommended but not required before Jumu'ah and Eid prayers, before entering the Iram in preparation for Hajj, after having lost consciousness and after formally converting. The Shia also perform the ablution before Namazi Taba. Guslo is often translated as full ablution, as opposed to the partial ablution, of wudu that Muslims perform after lesser impurities such as urination, defecation, breaking wind, deep sleep, light bleeding, etc. Types of Guslo by Purpose It is a ritual bath. 471 Guslo becomes obligatory for seven causes, and the Guslo for each of these different causes has different names. Guslo Janabat is Guslo performed after sexual intercourse or ejaculation, Guslo Haid is following menstruation, Guslo Isti Haidat is for irregular bleeding, Guslo Nifas is for postpartum bleeding, Guslo Mayat is Guslo performed on a dead Muslim. Guslo Mays may it becomes obligatory if one directly touches a dead body, Guslo also becomes obligatory following a vow or oath to perform it. Similar to Wudu, some water is permissible for use for Guslo whereas some water is not, as defined by the source of the water. The Quranic mandate for Guslo comes in Surah Anisa. O Believers! Do not come near to prayer when you are drunk, until you know what you are saying, nor when sexually defiled, unless passing through, until you perform ablutions. If you are ill, or on a journey, or one of you comes from the toilet, or you had intercourse with women, and you do not find water, then use some clean earth and wipe your faces and hands. The phrase for intercourse in this verse has been interpreted by Hanafi scholars to mean sexual contact, while Shafi'i scholars interpret contact to mean both physical and sexual contact. Hence, the Hanafi school of thought does not require one to take wudu if there is non-sexual contact with a member of the opposite sex while the Shafi'i school of thought does require wudu before salah and so on. There are three fard acts. If one of these acts is omitted, it must be returned to and completed before the remaining acts. Naya, rinsing the inner mouth, sniffing water and blowing it out, to wash the entire body in a rigorous manner. Sunna acts. In Islam, guslo requires the washing of the full body. There are some differences in details between the Sunni and the Shia schools of thought. Washing both the hands up to the wrists, wash the private parts and remove dirt or filth from the body, perform wudu, water should be poured over the head three times so that it flows all over the body, pour water on the right shoulder three times, pour water on the left shoulder three times. Water Requirements if, after guslo, one recalls that a certain portion of the body is left dry, it is not necessary to repeat the guslo, but merely wash the dry portion. It is not sufficient to pass a wet hand over the dry place. If one has forgotten to rinse the mouth or the nostrils, these two could be rinsed when recalled after guslo has been performed. The following hadith describes how guslo should be performed by Sunni Muslims. A narration attributed to Aisha bint Abi Bakr reports. When Allah's messenger bathed because of sexual intercourse, he first washed his hands, he then poured water with his right hand on his left hand and washed his private parts. 
he then performed wudu as is done for prayer. He then took some water and ran his fingers in the roots of his hair. And when he found that it had been properly moistened, he poured three handfuls on his head and then poured water over his body and subsequently washed his feet. In another hadith, Ibn Abbas stated that Ma'imuna said that the Messenger of Allah was given a towel, but he did not rub his body with it, but he did like this with water. In addition, Ibn Abbas recorded the following hadith on the authority of his mother's sister. A narration attributed to Maimuna bint al-Harith reports. I placed water near the Messenger of Allah to take a bath because of sexual intercourse. He washed the palms of his hands twice or thrice and then put his hand in the basin and poured water over his body then struck hand against the earth and rubbed it with force and then performed ablution for the prayer and then poured three handfuls of water on his head and then washed his whole body after which he moved aside from that place and washed his feet, and then I brought a towel, but he returned it. Guslo is allowed with the following types of water. Guslo is not allowed with the following types of water. There are two methods of performing guslo. One is known as guslo tartabi, and the other is known as guslo irtamasi. The acts of guslo. Far idea of guslo. Sunnah of guslo. Sunni school of thought. Shia school of thought. Guslo Tartabi means an ordinal bath, performed in three stages. After washing away the najazat from the body and after nayat, the body has to be washed in three stages, first, head down to the neck, then the right side of the body from the shoulder down to the foot, and lastly, the left side of the body. Each part should be washed thoroughly in such a way that the water reaches the skin. Special care should be taken while washing the head, the hair should be combed so that water reached the hair roots. While washing the right side of the body, some part of the left side must be washed too, and also, while washing the left side of the body, some part of the right side must be washed. Guslo Tartabi Guslo Irtamasi means a bath involving immersion of the whole body in the water. It is needless to say that such a guslo can only be done in a body of water, e.g., a pool, river, lake, or sea. After washing away the semen or blood from the body and after nayat, the whole body should be completely immersed in the water all at once, not gradually. One has to make sure that the water reaches all parts of the body, including hair, and the skin under it. However, Guslo Tartabi is preferred to Guslo Irtamasi. What has been mentioned above are the wajib acts of Guslo, there are things which are recommendable during the Guslo. These recommendable acts are five. Ubaidullah al-Halabi narrates that someone asked Imam Muhammad al-Bakir about a man who performs guslo and then finds some drops while he had already urinated before performing the guslo. The Imam said, he will just have to do wudu. But if he had not passed urine before the guslo, then he must repeat the guslo. This rule of istibra applies only to men. Sulaiman bin Khalid asked Imam Muhammad al-Bakir about a man who became ritually impure because of sexual intercourse and then performed guslo without urinating. Then some drops came out of him. The Imam said, he must repeat the guslo. Sulaiman, what if similar drops come out of a woman after she has performed guslo? The Imam said, she does not have to repeat the guslo. Sulaiman, what is the difference between the two? The Imam said, because what comes out of her is certainly from the discharge of man. Guslo Irtamasi Recommendable Acts of Guslo